Bang! Eight inch mag grab. Make chicken maga. Skip this thing under a dot. Where you gonna be skipping? Alright, so that was my boy Jay skipping the huge 8 inch mag draft. I mean, he knows his stuff when it comes to swim baits, and he's been an influence on me, and I'm getting more dedicated into it. I want to show you my new swim bait setup. I've got the Shimano Trance 300 reel to handle the big baits. And I've got the new Savage Gear 8 foot extra heavy swim bait rod. It's a pretty sick combo. And you probably heard in my other videos that my two biggest bass of the year came on baits from Jeremiah. Well, after we look at his collection, I'll kind of discuss that a little more. Stay tuned. They got a 12, but I think he's got a 14 too. What's that, about eight ounces? Uh, no, it's about, uh, I want to say like four. Four, maybe, yeah, four and a half. Here's the Gancraft. That's the joining claw. That's the Magnum 230 I told you about. And this is the Mag, Mag Draft. Draft, Mega Bass Mag Draft. This is the Shad color. A gizzard Shad, I think this one is. Uh, I got my white bag Shad somewhere in here. This is for you. I said 316 I told you I was going to give you. Oh, appreciate it, man. Those things are hard to get. Well, you got to line it through? Yeah, it's a line through. It's a bottom hook. You run your line through the nose and it comes out the belly. You just tie it to the treble hook and stick it in the belly. All right, sweet. Sweet action on that thing. And it's kind of the same color as the mag draft I was using. That's the one that the snapping turtle got. Yeah, snapping turtle tore that thing. Appreciate it, man. I got a floating BBZ. Yeah, Nobody throws the sinking BBZ. This one's floating. It's a wake bait. Works for the bird. This is for you too. That's a creep. <laughs> Damn, thank you, man. That's awesome. That one's the, uh, I forget the manufacturer, uh, but it's the creep. What size uh, hooks up? That's a, I think that's an eight out owner beast. This is a Depths 175 slide swimmer. This is the smaller one. You saw my Depths 250. Yeah. And the freaking giant 10 inch bait. I got two of these. The other one's on my swim bait right at home, but I got this Fire Tiger one and I got the mullet one. Then you've got S Waivers. And this is probably the only color I throw, the light trout. That's the 168 and the 200. You can have this if you want. That's the Savage Gear Pulse Tail. That's a line through too. It has a little harness on it. You get your hands on an 8 inch huddle stand or something. This is a good alternative. That's the Jackal Gantarel. Another Gantarel. I've got a third Gantarel at the bottom down there. This is the Gigantarel. Golly. Here's another creep. You can have that. It's best I'm not. But that's another color for you. This is my uh, six inch bull gill fast, I mean, six inch bull shad and bone. That's the fast sink. This one is the six inch bull shad and gizzard shad, but this is the two knocker. It has a rattle in it. Bull shads are my favorite multi jointed, multi jointed fun baits. They work good, real fast. This is the wake bait version, and that's the four by four. This one's the eight inch. Yeah. I got a bull herring on the way, and I got a uh, I got a bull herring, and I've got another bull shad coming the nine inch. This thing is huge. Yeah, that's the Gigantorel. What? Here's my third regular Gantorel. It's crazy to think a bass will even bite that. Oh, they swing at it. The stripers like it too, apparently. I haven't tried it on them, but I guess they do. I mean, that is huge. Here's the BBZ Rat. This is the best color of the Morning Dawn. It comes with replacement tails. It comes with a purple tail and a bright chartreuse one. Really good wake bait. It's not as good as the Nezuma Rat or the uh, Johnny Rat, but it's a good alternative. 
if you don't want to spend two hundred dollars for a rat bait. Uh, there's the bull gill. Oh yeah, sweet. Thinking about getting it custom painted. Uh, shell cracker, couple Huddlestons. This is the holdover color. That's my favorite color. It's a good Huddleston. looking color. I love that one. I got some 68s. Got a few more of those coming. I got MS Slammers coming. Uh, I didn't bring my Lunker Punker. I got an 8 inch wood Lunker Punker, the OG one. It's like that big. Yeah. It's a giant walk the dog bait. Here's a Savage Gear. You can have that. That's a line through. I don't have the harness for it though. Uh, here's another one you can have. I don't want this one. This is a Matt Lures Ultimate Gill. Oh, I'll definitely take that. I rigged it with the bottom hook. This is the 8-inch Rising Sun by 316. Damn. This is the much bigger version of the one that I just gave you. That's Sick. real thick at the top, too. This freaking thing is fat. Man, that Matt Lures is... That looks good. It looks like a real blue gill. You should have seen it out of the box. It's old. It looked great when it was new. It kind of looked like this flat tail version. But this one's got the juvenile, you know, kind of markings yeah. on it. There's a flat tail. I don't remember if that's a floatery sink. Those are handmade. Uh, these are more creeps. More 316 creeps. This is the mag draft and white back shad. Best color. That's the absolute number one best color. I wouldn't, I mean, I've tried all the other ones, but that's the one that gets bit the most for me. We got the 10 inch shine lights by Savage Gear. I got a bunch of these 7 inches. This is the big one, the Magnum shine light. I hooked one of the biggest bass of my life on this bait. She jumped and spit it, but... Uh, and then on the next cast, I snagged it and broke it off, but... I had to buy two or three more after that. Here's the Bait Sanity Explorer and Perch. No, this isn't the Explorer, this is the Antidote. Okay. This is the Antidote. This is another Antidote in the crawfish pattern. And then this here is the Explorer. Yeah, really. This is a 10 inch bait. This is the shad pattern, I believe. Oh, wait, this is kokanee. This is the kokanee pattern. Yeah. It looks better than the shad pattern, I think. Oops. It's not quite as big as the Depths 250. They're about the same length, but the Depths 250 has more bulk and it's a little heavier. The, uh, the Depths 250 is like six and a half. It's like six ounces, I think. It's yeah. either six or six and a half ounces. This one is a lot lighter. This is, uh... no, no, it's not. It's five ounces. There's a whole bunch more that I don't have with me. My Ice Light 262s, my Depths 250s, my Lunker Punkers, MS Slammers. <sighs> so this is just a travel kit. Yeah, this is a travel kit. I got a ton of big swim baits. Just a small collection, nothing much. Uh, if you want to see some more Jeremiah's swim baits, you can check him out on Instagram at King of Anglers Jeremiah. Jeremiah is a great friend of mine. He's a good guy. First time I ever met him, he didn't even know me. He gave me baits. I was like, I like this guy. And I didn't ask for any baits today. But, I mean, he hooked me up. Check out all these baits he hooked me up with. And that may not look like much to you. You're like, oh, it's only five baits. But those baits are not cheap. Not cheap at all. So my second biggest bass of the year came on the Kitek Fat 6.8 inches. Now, this used to be my favorite bait. I always fish the 4.8s and occasionally I fish the 5.8s. But Jeremiah gave me the 6.8 to try. Boy, did it deliver. Now, I've always fished these the same way slow, really slow. It's a boring way to fish, but boy, does it catch some tanks. And a lot of people, they fish them fast, but with these bigger baits, I just think not having an exposed hook makes it very tough, very tough to set the hook. And also, 
I just think fishing is slow. Something about fishing is slow is going to get you the big bites, or it has for me. So I'll show you that fish real quick, and then I'll get back to my biggest bass of the year. What's well, got bit? Got it on the huge 7.8. Got it. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yes. Huge. Huge. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Don't come off. Oh, my gosh. Don't come off. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! <sighs> oh my gosh! Thank you, Jeremiah, for giving me this huge contact. That is the longest freaking bass. It won't even fit in the cooler, as you can see. It won't even fit in that cooler. Absolute hog, 7.16. Wow. So my biggest bass of the year came on a six inch Huddleston with a rate of fall of five. Now I can't sit here and act like I'm an expert with the Huddleston because I've only caught three fish, but I've caught them all going really slow. Again, painfully slow. And Jeremiah says you can also work this bait bouncing it off the bottom just like a jig now, i haven't caught one that method but all i can tell you is what's worked for me is going real slow now let's check out my biggest bass so far a 2020. oh i just got slammed on this huddleston got him oh my gosh get in the head probably it's the huddleston well he doesn't feel big but we'll see yeah it's pretty nice yeah, on the hut. Got him on the hut. Full and dry. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Told you we'd get you a big one today, Bubba. I don't know if it's big yet. Yeah, it is. I've seen it. It's a good one. It's a big one. Oh, yeah, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Wear him out. Pulling the boat around in circles. It's a big one, dude. That's that one that jumped, probably. I bet you. Did you cast it right over there? Oh, yeah. It's a good fish, dude. <laughs> on the huddle thing, bro. Yeah. Giant. Six or seven pounder, dude. Oh, that's at least that's, seven. That's, that's seven. eight, maybe. It's a giant, dude. Maybe even nine. Who knows? He need. He bit my Huddleston in half. Dude, stud. Well, guys, here you are. Blake Whitney with a freaking 7.82 pound largemouth on the Huddleston, guys. He caught it on the Huddleston. He never throws it. He, we saw this fish jump. He threw the Huddleston in there and capitalized because he's a beast. Yeah. Good pictures. Yeah, one more. Standing up. There you go. Oh, my God, Blake. Big bass, Blake! Big bass, Blake! Yes, sir.